And good afternoon. Welcome to another exotic PC video review. And today we are reviewing the new MSI GT70 Dragon Edition. Uh, this is a new model that just recently came out from MSI. It's really, really exciting. The specs, the components are just maxed out. It has this new red exterior finish, which we'll get into more. And then they also did a laser etching of a dragon on the cover as well as on the palm rest area here. Uh, before we get too much uh, into this new system that we're going to be doing a full video review on, now we do have a, another YouTube video lower on our YouTube channel here where we did break down a uh, MSI GT70 that does have a GTX 680M graphics card in it. But we're going to go ahead and give you another full review today in case you didn't see that video or this is one of the first videos that you're watching uh, from us. Now, one thing I'll point out, uh, our video reviews tend to be pretty long uh, because we try to cover all the bases possible. So if you don't want to necessarily watch the full review, go ahead and uh, look down in the video description of this video and you can see we've broken it down sort of like a table of contents. So you can skip ahead to certain sections if you want to see thermal images or benchmarks or you want to see the uh, components on the inside, whatever the case may be. You can sort of advance and skip around in there if you want. Um, just to make it, you know, maybe a little bit quicker for you. Uh, so what's all going to be covered in this video? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to unbox this, show you everything that comes in the box. Uh, MSI is doing a special promotion right now where you get a included MSI branded backpack, uh, this nifty little dog tag from MSI, and then you also get a SteelSeries Siberia V2 headset. So right after this, we'll show you the unboxing and you can see everything that uh, comes in the box. We'll break down the system specs. Uh, this thing is like maxed out to the fullest as far as its internal components. So we'll give you a breakdown of those. We'll cover the exterior finish, which is nice and flashy. Uh, we'll break down the screen. This does have a 17.3 inch Full HD screen. Uh, extremely nice screen. Whether you're gaming or not, it's phenomenal. We'll get into that more. Uh, we'll cover the ports. Uh, you know, the port package, what's all included on here as far as ports goes. We'll break down the keyboard and the point device. This does, uh, as usual, come with a Steel Series keyboard. We'll break that down for you. Uh, we'll do a quick sound analysis. Uh, this comes with Dynaudio speakers. They're just phenomenal. Uh, you get two speakers and a uh, built-in subwoofer underneath. That's really nice. We'll give you a quick little uh, clip of some audio so you can really see what the sound is like on this. Uh, we'll do some thermal temps. We'll basically show you thermal heat images of this machine so you can see where the hot spots are, how hot it actually gets overall. We'll do some uh, benchmark scores so you can see what the graphics card and the CPU uh, can run like. Then we'll also do a price compare just to show you where the price point at is on this system. And then we also basically built some other systems that are basically the exact same and show you those price points so you can see, uh, you know, right around if this is you know, price marketed correctly in terms of, you know, MSI's competitors. And, and we'll show you that, and in honest, in, honestly, in my opinion, it is. Uh, and then lastly, we'll take off the underside cover and we'll show you the internal components. Uh, we'll show you the large fan that's in here where the GPU, the CPU is, the hard drives, the Wi-Fi card, uh, the whole shebang. We'll show you everything inside. So uh, thank you for joining us today. And the next thing that we will do is we will actually unbox this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to show you today is we're going to unbox this new GT70 Dragon Edition. Okay, so right now you can see uh, what MSI is doing is they're doing a special promotion where you get a branded MSI backpack and you also get a Steel Series Siberia V2 headset. Now, one thing to keep in mind, this is a promotion that's going on right now. Uh, depending on when you actually watch this video review uh, is whether or not that promotion is still going on or not. So definitely check out our website and to see if those are products that are still being included with the GT70 Dragon Edition. Very nice branded box. Okay, now included on the left side here, MSI is also doing a promotion where, if I can get them out here, you get this new branded 
uh, Dragon Edition dog tag. It's pretty sweet, nice little extra thing that you can throw on your keychain or whatever. Uh, you do get your standard uh, AC adapter cord, and then your power brick. This is a 180 watt power brick. Uh, this is pretty much standard on any laptop that comes with a GTX 680. And as far as the specs, we'll get into those specs more uh, here in just a second, and I'll just show you more uh, this power brick later in the review. Uh, battery is in there, 9 cell battery, that's also fairly standard on most uh, laptops with the uh, GTX 680. And voila, there you go, your new uh, MSI GT70 Dragon Edition. Uh, we'll get more into the exterior finish here. Uh, when you do unbox it, you do get the usual uh, plastic coverings, overlays. You want to obviously take those off, but that's there for protection. But uh, yeah, so that's the uh, the unboxing of this guy. Okay, the next thing uh, we'll discuss with you here is just the overall system specs. Now for screen, 17.3 uh, inch Full HD matte screen. Uh, that's pretty much standard on any MSI laptop now as far as their gaming notebooks go. They put Full HD matte screens on all of them. We do have a couple of upgrade options if you're interested. Definitely check those out on our website. Uh, CPU, this does have an Intel i7 uh, 3630 quad mobile. That is that new third generation Ivy Bridge. That's also pretty much standard on all the top end MSIs. Graphics card, uh, GTX 680M with 4 gigabytes of video RAM. Uh, that's pretty much the dominating mobile graphics card that's out there right now. Uh, supposedly there's a 680MX coming out, but uh, we've only heard rumors just as much as pretty much anybody else has. We haven't heard anything from NVIDIA or anything like that. So, uh, Phenomenal graphics card. For RAM, 16GB, uh, 600 megahertz RAM. does have four DIMM slots, so you can go up to 32GB max. Again, that's another upgrade option that we have uh, listed on our website. For hard drives, in hard drive bay 1, we have uh, two 128GB M SATA uh, SSDs, and those are configured in Super RAID 0. Now, that's an MSI-only feature. Uh, they're doing this Super RAID thing with their M SATA slots. Uh, it's outstanding as far as the speed goes. You're almost, I mean, it's just insane. Uh, secondary hard drive bay, you do, you do have a storage drive, a 750GB, 7200RPM hard drive. Uh, the optical bay in this is a Blu-ray burner. Uh, Wi-Fi card, you do have a Bigfoot Killer 1202 Wi-Fi, and that also includes an integrated Bluetooth 4.0. Uh, on here, when you saw us uh, initially run down the specs, you can see this had Windows 8 on it. That is 64-bit Windows 8. And then lastly, uh, warranty on this is a two-year warranty. Now, uh, a lot of people tend to overlook the warranty when they're buying a laptop. Now, MSI is one of the only manufacturers out there really right now that's offering a two-year warranty standard. Uh, if you look at Alienware, one year. Uh, Asus is pretty much one year. They used to do two year, but now it's down to one year. Uh, Sager laptops, one year. Uh, we started carrying Samsung laptops. Those all come with one year. Uh, razor blade laptops, one year. MSI two year so that's uh... you know that's great in my opinion that they're basically giving you a two year when pretty much everybody else in the industry is only doing one year warranties so uh... you know that's one thing to keep in mind when you're shopping around for a laptop is always look at the warranty and and the warranty package and and if at any time you have any questions about a warranty feel free to email us or call us down there at that number so that's the system specs on this new gt70 dragon edition Okay, the next thing we'll go over with you here is the exterior finish. Now, I've always been a huge fan of the GT70 laptops and their overall design. And now, in my opinion, MSI has just taken it to a whole nother level. Uh, this is going to be a red brushed aluminum finish. And hopefully you can see it in here. Uh, they do have a laser engraved uh, dragon. This is uh, part of their, I guess, G-Series gaming logo. Uh, they've incorporated this in the back, but then they've also... Um, integrated it into the palm rest area and hopefully you can see it in the reflection there. Uh, exterior finish is phenomenal in my opinion. Uh, the MSI logo on the back, this is backlit, LED backlit. And this comes in standard white, but one thing we can do for you, 
uh, maybe to match the overall look of this laptop since it's red we can actually go in and customize and make that red for you um, and that's a fairly inexpensive customization option that we offer uh, so overall the exterior finish on this thing is just beastly uh, I love it I've always been a huge fan of uh, MSI's G series laptops and now they've just taken it to a whole new level with this red exterior finish. I mean, if you're going into a business meeting or you're a student in college and you bring this into a classroom, I mean, everybody is going to look at your laptop. This isn't just some MacBook that you're just carrying around to class. This thing is uh, definitely going to turn heads. Okay, the next thing we'll cover with you is the screen. Uh, as we mentioned in the beginning, this is a 17.3 inch Full HD matte screen. Pretty much MSI is putting matte screens on everything nowadays. Their gaming laptops or non-gaming laptops. Uh, Full HD matte screen is sort of becoming the industry standard. Uh, as you can see, the wash from side to side isn't terrible. Uh, this is just the Windows 8 startup screen, which has some pretty vibrant colors. So we figured we'd sort of show you the wash, uh, I guess, with this just standard screen. Um, in the background, but overall wash isn't too bad. There's virtually no reflection. I think you can see a little bit of our background lighting uh, reflecting there. Uh, we do sort of have uh, above average environmental lighting behind us just for the filming of this review. So uh, this is probably reflecting a little bit more than you might see in your dorm room or your house or your office or wherever. Uh, overall wash is Pretty, uh, pretty outstanding that there isn't hardly any at all. Coming down from top to bottom, you can see there really isn't much wash there either. And then we'll go ahead and we'll tilt this all the way back as far as it can go. Um, oh, whoops, we just hit our wall there. Uh, it is washing out a little bit going from bottom to top. But, uh, you know, overall it's not bad. It's not bad uh, in terms of wash. This is the largest viewing angle. I would say that that's about... Uh, 150, 160 degrees. That's pretty good on a laptop of this size. I think looking at some of the uh, Asus G75s, their screens don't go back this far. And same as like the Alienware M17X, pretty sure the screen doesn't go back this far either. So uh, hopefully that gives you just a quick little uh, rundown of the screen and uh, so you can sort of see what the screen looks like. Okay, next thing we'll run down with you is the ports. Uh, this is going to be the right side. Starting off, you do have two Legacy 2.0 ports. This is your optical drive. Uh, they have included an eject button on here. I think in the previous generation of the GT780s and 783s, uh, like the DXRs and the DXs, I'm pretty sure they didn't have this eject button. Um, you used to have to eject it manually. So it's nice that they've started including this, and I'm pretty sure this is standard on all uh, MSI G series as far as like the GT70s and the GT60s. Uh, going around to the back side, Kensington lock jack. This is going to be your DC power input. Your, uh, this is an E2200 killer LAN jack. So if you're gaming and this is a gaming laptop, it's nice that MSI has included a little bit better LAN port in there. 15-pin uh, VGA port, so if you run around to an exterior monitor, you have that option as well. Uh, e SATA, HDMI. You do have one of two exhaust vents right here. Uh, over here on the left side, this is just a faux exhaust vent. It's, there, it's actually not vented at all. It's just designed to sort of uh, mimic the right side. So here's one exhaust vent. Swinging around to the left side of the laptop, you do have your second exhaust vent. And basically sitting right here is a large cooling fan. And later in the uh, video review, we'll pull off that bottom cover and we'll actually show you that fan. Finishing up the ports, you do have a total of three USB 3.0 ports. Hopefully you can see that blue in there. Card reader, 7-in-1 card reader. Uh, they used to only do 4-in-1 card readers, I think, um, on their gaming laptops last year. They've upped that a little bit to a 7-in-1, which is really nice. Then you do have your standard audio jacks. However, what MSI is doing now is they're coating these in gold. So that's going to give you a little bit more audio clarity. So if you're gaming with like a headset on, the sound is going to come through a little bit better than if these weren't coated in gold. Uh, and it's also going to deal with corrosion. Uh, gold is very non-corrosive, so uh, that's probably not a huge issue on laptops, but it's nice that they're giving you that little extra perk on their system. So we're going to run to the front. Uh, no ports. You just have a standard set of uh, LED indicator lights. And this one flashing here that you can see, uh, it's indicating that's in sleep mode because right now we do have the laptop on and the lid closed. So uh, if your laptop's in sleep mode, it's going to do exactly that. Okay, the next thing we'll cover with you is the keyboard and the point device. 
Now this is a, uh, you can see the little logo down here, this is a SteelSeries backlit keyboard. Uh, in terms of gaming on laptops, this is probably about the best keyboard that you're going to get. It is uh, full backlit illuminating. Uh, there's very little ghosting on it whatsoever. The key response is phenomenal. Uh, as far as uh, flex, there's virtually no flex to the system whatsoever. I think on these uh, keyboards, maybe two years ago, you used to see the keyboards flex quite a bit. Uh, they've solved that up a lot of with the structuring and the chassis and so forth. Uh, great keyboard. And then in terms of the backlit keyboard, there's actually, hopefully you can see it on your screen here, uh, right here. You see that maybe? Oh, I was too low. Uh, this is what's called KLM software. You can open that up and this is where you can actually go in and customize your keyboard. Uh, let me get the camera up here for you a little bit. You do have three zones. Uh, let me actually, I'm going to actually go in and change these to all red so you can sort of, uh, it'll sort of match the exterior finish of the laptop. Now if we go down here, you can see the backlit keyboard is all red. You can pretty much go in and change all those zones. Uh, there's a couple different things you can do um, in terms of the effects. Right now we're doing like sort of a breathing uh, of the keyboard. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, maybe you can see a little bit there. Uh, overall the keyboard is great. Backlit, completely customizable. I really like uh, MSI's KLM software as far as their user interface. Um, it's definitely a lot better than uh, like Sager's. And then as far as like ASUS, they don't even offer anything like this. So uh, it's great that you can go in and you can completely customize that keyboard um, and do, I guess, basically whatever you like. Uh, in terms of the point device, we'll get this down here. You do have two independent clickers. These are freed up pretty well. Um, in the past when I've played with some of these, these can tend to be a little bit stiff. Uh, but it's not a rocker style, it actually is split. And then as far as the point device goes, uh, this does have a slight texture to it. Maybe you can sort of hear it. Uh, I like it because then uh, my finger doesn't want to stick as I'm sort of sliding around and playing with it. Uh, it's definitely multi-gesture. So like right now I can, uh, my little icons, maybe you can see them, maybe not. Made them bigger, made them smaller. Uh, so it is multi-gesture. Uh, overall, it's probably the best keyboard that you're going to find uh, on a stock laptop. And the point device is also uh, very nice as well. Okay, lastly, uh, I guess as far as the keyboard goes, one thing we didn't cover too, too much is going to be these top keys up here above the keyboard. You do have a turbo button. Uh, that is going to kick on your GPU and your CPU to a much higher level. So if you're gaming and you see some lag, which really on this system you won't, uh, but you could hit that and it's going to boost those a little bit more. Uh, you do have, uh, this is going to be your turbo fan. You can hit that uh, if the laptop is getting a little warm, especially in the keyboard area, hit that. The fan is going to kick on really, really hard, and it's going to get a lot of that heat out of there. Uh, this here is going to be for your backlit keyboard. Hopefully you can see it. Uh, it only has the WASD key area that lined up, or lit up, excuse me, completely off. Hit it again, completely on. Uh, power button in the middle. This is going to be your Wi-Fi. Uh, you can turn that on and off. This is going to turn your screen on and off. Uh, and right now it's not really doing much because I think we just started the laptop up. Uh, eject button. This is going to eject your optical drive. And then you two have two status LED indicator lights. One is going to be number lock. Uh, you can see our number lock coming on in there. And then the other one is going to be caps lock. So uh, that's just a breakdown of those, uh, I guess, little quick touched keys at the top of the keyboard. Okay, the next thing uh, we just wanted to show you a little bit is the sound. Now, um, on these GT70 laptops, MSI includes this uh, Music Maker Jam software. So we found some Tech House that we're going to play. Um, you know, just sort of give you a little bit of what the sound sounds like on here. Now, you do have two Dynaudio speakers. You have one left, one right. Dynaudio has pretty much been the premiere um, as far as laptop sound goes. And then also, uh, underneath, in the very back down here, you have a built-in subwoofer. Uh, which is really nice as well. So uh, we'll go ahead and play you uh, some of this music here so you can just sort of get an idea of what the sound is like.
Okay, so uh, yeah, that's probably all we'll do for sound analysis uh, on this. We're actually working towards a really comprehensive video of sound analysis between laptops where we're going to include pretty much every top 17.3 inch laptop on the market. So we'll do a GT70 and Alienware M17X. Uh, some of the Sager laptops will include the Razer Blade laptop in there. Might even include the new Samsung gaming laptop, that Series 7 gamer. Uh, we're going to break down the sound more comprehensively as far as which laptop has the best sound. Uh, but we just wanted to show you that really quick so you could get uh, sort of an idea of what the sound is like on this GT70 Dragon Edition. Okay, the next thing we wanted to do, and you'll see these popping up on your screen here, is some thermal images. Uh, we really try to give you guys watching these videos the most overall perspective uh, in terms of everything on the laptop, but definitely in terms of heat, because when you're talking about uh, gaming laptops, heat is definitely a huge concern. Now looking at the keyboard area, uh, the keyboard is not getting very hot in terms of the keys right in the middle there between the G and H keys. Uh, that's going to be the dead center of the keyboard. Not very hot, uh, under 98.6 degrees, so it's going to feel cool to the touch. Uh, the upper area of the laptop is a little bit warmer than we thought we would see. Uh, looking at the touchpad area, that area is staying really cool, um, a lot cooler than I thought, uh, right around 70 degrees. Looking at the exhaust vents on the sides, uh, you're seeing temperatures getting over 100 degrees, and that's actually good. You want all of that heat being pulled out of those exhaust vents. Uh, there's one on the left side and then one on the back, so there is a lot of heat being pulled out of there. Uh, there is only one single fan for the CPU and the GPU. Excuse me. And then actually here shortly we will actually pull off that back cover and show you that internal fan. But uh, overall the laptop's not getting overly hot. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's cooling quite well. Okay, we just got done doing a 3D Mark Vantage uh, test run. Now, just a reminder: a GPU is that NVIDIA GTX 680M with four gigabytes of video RAM, and then CPU is that third generation Ivy Bridge i7 3630 quad mobile processor. Now, for 3D Mark Vantage score, uh, we're getting almost 26,000 points. Now, in terms of laptop. Uh, graphics that's almost unheard of uh, one thing we'll do on our screen here really quick is show you now this is a single GTX uh, 680M with the uh, i7-3630 and we'll actually compare that to so you can actually sort of see what a single 680M graphics card looks like compared to dual 7970M graphics cards uh, as far as a 3D Mark Vantage score now one other thing that we'll show you here uh, this is MSI Afterburner um, this top, uh, I guess, graph is going to be our temperature, and hopefully you can see it right there. Max temperature was 74 degrees Celsius. Uh, we'll go ahead and try to zoom in on that a little bit for you here so you can actually see that. Uh, max temp, 74 degrees Celsius. That's actually really good. Pretty much anything under uh, 80 degrees Celsius in terms of heat is going to be just fine. Uh, if you get over that, you might want to look at... Uh, reapplying some icy diamond thermal compound which the system doesn't have on it that's something that we can do and you're gonna see those temperatures drop down probably uh, between five and nine degrees Celsius so uh, overall 3D Mark Vantage score was absolutely phenomenal okay and the very last thing that we wanted to do with you today is just show you uh, a quick little price compare so you can compare the cost of uh, this MSI GT70 Dragon Edition to some other comparable systems that are on the market right now. Now one thing of course to keep in mind, uh, this will be popping up on your screen here, is that prices do change. They change even as much as on a weekly or even daily basis. So for the most accurate uh, prices, uh, go to our website which is www.exoticpc.com and check them out. Okay, so pop it up on your screen here. Uh, on the left side, you'll see the MSI GT70 Dragon Edition. Then we're comparing it to the Alienware M17X and then also the Sager MP9170. Now, both of those are uh, considered top-of-the-line gaming laptops that are also 17.3 inch. Uh, if you go down the specs of each system, we're not going to necessarily uh, verbally run through them all. But if you notice that little uh, bracketed yellow arrow uh, that sort of represents an upgrade so that's a component that we had to upgrade on those comparable systems to get it to uh, basically match this uh, MSI GT70 Dragon Edition. Now one thing to point out is that the GT70 does have 
dual M SATA slots in that primary hard drive. Now, MSI is the only laptop manufacturer out there that's doing this right now. So on the Alienware, we added uh, one 128 gigabyte M SATA, then we also added a 128 gigabyte SSD to sort of mirror uh, those same components. And we did the same thing on the Sigur MP9170. Now, if you look at the prices, uh, the Alienware is going to be uh, about $463 more, somewhere in that price range. And then the Sager MP9170 is going to be about uh, $400 less. Now, one thing to consider is, uh, yes, the Sager is going to be cheaper, but it also doesn't have uh, this red brushed aluminum exterior finish, which is very custom. It's not going to have the Steel Series backlit keyboard. It's not going to have the Dyn Audio speakers. Given now the Sager MP9170 does have a backlit keyboard, and they do have Onkyo speakers, in our opinion, they're not as nice as this system. So we just wanted to show you a little price comparison. Again, keep in mind that prices are always subject to change. Generally, they change down. They go down in price. But we just wanted to show you that, uh, you know, where this system compares to other comparable systems by other manufacturers uh, that are on the market right now. And in our opinion, considering this laptop's internal components, the price point is just about right uh, because it is cheaper than the Alienware M17X. And Sagers tend to be about uh, the cheaper as far as price point goes on the market right now. So, uh, yeah, that's just a little price comparison. I uh, figured we'd throw that out there at you just so you could sort of see how the price matches up with other manufacturers. Okay, one of the last things uh, that we wanted to do with you is show you the inside, sort of the guts and glory of uh, the MSI GT70 Dragon Edition. Now, one thing I always recommend doing, uh, remove the battery. Uh, again, this is a 9-cell battery. That's fairly common uh, with the graphics card of this caliber. Uh, now, in terms of battery life, you're not going to get a lot, especially in terms of gaming. Uh, this does, however, have Optimus technology, so it does have integrated Intel 4000 graphics. So if you're doing lighter things, uh, like browsing the internet, it's going to switch over to that integrated graphics, and you're going to save some on battery. Uh, okay, now looking at the inside, sort of tilt this up for you. This here is going to be hard drive bay 1, and these are those uh, dual M SATA slots, uh, 128 gigabyte M SATAs, uh, configured in Super RAID 0. Uh, next here, this is where your graphics card is going to be. It's going to sit under here. You can see the heat sinks running, and then those are going to run to the single fan. Uh, MSI has been doing this for as long as I can remember in terms of their laptops. Uh, they have one large fan that cools the GPU and then the CPU up here, and that actually has worked really well with them. Uh, if you look at some other laptops like Alienware's or uh, some of the ASUS models, you're going to see dual fans. Uh, this is actually just as effective, so uh, I just wanted to point that out. Uh, up here, you have two of the SODIMM slots for RAM. Uh, 16 gigabytes, 1600 megahertz standard. These are each 4 gigs, and then opposite this, on the other side of the keyboard, there's going to be two more SODIMM slots. Uh, and then at the top here, this is going to be the secondary hard drive bay. And this is just a standard 750 gigabyte, 7200 RPM hard drive uh, for more of your storage needs. So uh, that's basically the inside. Uh, one last thing I'll point out, this was that uh, Dynaudio subwoofer underneath. Uh, this is pretty much how all MSI GT70s look. Uh, the GT60s also look about the same. And uh, it's what MSI has been doing for many years, and it seems to work. So, you know, if it's not broke, you know, don't fix it. So they're going to keep on with the same style of layout, and it, uh, it has been working for them. So uh, that's just the inside of the uh, Dragon Edition. And that's going to wrap it up today for this exotic PC video review of the MSI GT70 Dragon Edition. Uh, go to our website and check it out if you like. That's exoticpc.com. If you have any questions or concerns or there isn't uh, anything that we covered in the review that you wanted to know about or have questions about, definitely leave those below in the comments box. We try to get to those uh, a couple of times during the day to answer questions. Uh, if you have more immediate questions about this system, feel free to contact us directly. Uh, you'll see our email address, sales at exoticpc.com, and our toll-free 1-800 number. Uh, that's been listed in the lower left corner throughout this whole review. Uh, feel free to check it out personally. This is probably my favorite laptop that's out right now. Uh, it is priced a little bit higher than some other uh, gaming laptops out there, but keep in mind its exterior finish. Uh, the graphics cards and, or excuse me, graphics card 
And then also keep in mind that quick little price compare that we showed you that, you know, even though this price point is really high considering everything else on the market, it's right in the range that it needs to be. So thank you again for joining us today. Uh, again, any questions, let us know. Otherwise, we will see you in the next review.